Alright guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you guys the 8 simple Final Cut Pro shortcuts that I use while editing wedding highlight films, okay? While editing wedding highlight films. Because um, for the full video, for the full wedding, I use Premiere Pro. I have my reasons. And for the highlight videos, which are usually short, and trailers, as this is a trailer right here the trailers you can see and um, it's two minutes long so this is a trailer so for short videos like highlights and music videos I use Final Cut Pro okay cuz I like the effects in here and all that stuff so I use Final Cut Pro for all these short um, videos but for the longer videos like one hour videos I usually use um, Premiere Pro okay guys so that's what I do anyways so here are the shortcuts that I use a lot while I'm editing wedding videos okay guys so the eight simple shortcuts that I use the most while editing highlight videos for weddings so number one is you know the shift shift Z shift plus the Z button so how I use this it um, it usually just shows you the the whole timeline from here to here okay so from there to there so let's say you are zoomed in right about here so command plus zooms in and uh, command minus zooms out but let's say you don't want to you know use these uh, you just want to see the entire timeline um, from from where you're editing right so let's say you're zoomed in all the way here and you want to see the entire timeline what I usually do what you usually what I usually do is just press shift Z is going to bring up the entire timeline so shift Z will bring up the entire timeline so I use this a lot shift Z I use that a lot so that's number one number two is shift N so when I'm doing a wedding I do a lot of slow motion as you can see so how I um, do the slow motion usually is let's say I want to slow mo that clip okay so what I do is um, go here let's zoom in here so how I slow mo the clip is just um, shift plus N so shift N brings up this thing here where you can you know slow it down to 50% or you can add a custom whereby you can if you want to reverse the clip you know forward I'll just leave it at that so yeah so um, shift N like quickly just brings up the you know thing where you can just like if you want you can even just like press here and um, drag it you know drag it to the percent that you want it to be slow let's say you want to do uh, 60 percent and then you just it's gonna be slow like that and then again if you just want to go back to the normal you can press the clip and just shift N brings it back to 100% so yeah so shift N brings up let's say we here shift N 100% and then if I want I can slow more to 50% see that and I can move this clip to where I want it to show and all that good stuff yes guys so shift N I use it a lot let me show you a clip that I actually already have this on there um, which is let's see this clip right here so as you can see here this is um, this is the normal clip right here but it was you know I had it on 50% so that way I could do the slow-mo and then I ramp it up right here so I ramped it up here as when I bring when I click um, shift N it's going to show you that you know this is this is normal and then I ramped it up there so let me just um, backspace here backspace really let me just you know undo so that way I leave the edit as it is because I like it like that so all this is just like you know ramped up shift N and then I had ramped that up so let's go back again command Z go back to what I had edited it like woo woo look at that boy killing it killing it killing it Look at them shots, man. Look at the woo, woo, killing these shots. Anyway, so yeah. 
shift n i use that a lot guys let's go back to the whole timeline okay so now we're at the whole timeline we see the whole thing okay so three is command four so command four just brings up this thing here where you can edit you know clips where you can edit your clips so let's zoom in a bit here to where you can see your clips here okay so yeah so um so command four just brings it to where you can edit the effects of the video so command four you know you can get rid of that thing if you want or bring it up there you go get rid of it bring it up so command four is just to bring that up real quick and then command five okay let's say we take this out so command five is uh so okay so number four is command five which is uh it brings up the effects tab for like you know transitions and all the uh transitions and more video uh, effects so command five all right let's wait for it so it brings up the effects for the video and audio and stuff like that it's transitions over here so that's command five you can bring that up and i usually don't like having this here unless i'm using it at the current time i just like to see my whole full timeline that's command five number four so number five is command six so command six i use it usually when i'm doing color grading so command six is to do the color grade okay guys so as you can see this beautiful color grade here this is the original grade and that's the color graded so there we go command six brings up the color grading here where you can um the color board they call it but it's kind of grading same shit so you can um color grade your footage okay guys you can color grade your footage there so let me just um bring this back to normal so yeah so command six brings up the color grade real quick and then from here you can go back to the effects as well there you go okay so that's number five so number six is command nine so command nine what i usually um use this for is the background tasks usually what i'm what i use this for is when i'm rendering the the finished um video and i just want to see how the sharing is going like let's say i go here and i share you know so i want to see i want to see these um things here you know even like let's say i did this here so it has to like you know uh in this case let's just say shift n let's bring this to like uh 10 just to give you a sample so when you leave it alone here see it's going to start rendering so you i like seeing the percentage that is at or you can pause it if you want so yeah let's just undo that because you know that's not how i wanted it to be so just undo that and again undo okay so that's number six which is command nine so number seven is command option v which is to paste effects so you paste effects from like um copy and paste effects so you, let's say you want these effects on this video here so you just um command c copy and then you go here if you press command v it's gonna you know paste this clip up there so you don't want that so what you want to do you just, you, you just want the effects from this video here so what you do is you copy command c you go here and then uh so option you hold option and v i'm sorry you, you hold option and command and then press v and then the effects will be pasted on this clip here from that to here usually i do that when i'm doing when i'm um doing the color grading so let's just undo that when i'm doing color grading i usually do that so that way i can just select all the clips i want and let's say they're the same lighting they're the same everything so i just get the color grade from this clip and i paste uh paste it on all these clips so yeah so command option v i use that a lot so that was number seven so number eight which is um the last um, sh um, shortcut that I like doing here is option plus the move uh, plus the mouse plus moving your mouse. So when you press option, when you hold option, and then let's say you want to duplicate this um, clip here, right? So hold option and just move this to where you want to where you want to paste it at. You know, so there you go. I just copy pasted this again. 
I can keep, you know, duplicating the file. So that's how you duplicate, um, if you want to duplicate clips. So let me just back up here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So those are the shortcuts that are simple to use in Final Cut Pro that I usually use a lot when I'm editing wedding videos. So if you like this video, if this it was helpful to you, please click the like button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Come on guys, my channel like you know straight up wedding videography tips, straight up content that you won't find on a lot of channels. So guys, um you know Please just subscribe to the channel and help me out here, you know, help me grow this channel so that way I can do more videos and just get more equipment and um, share everything I'm doing with you guys. So until the next video, thank you for watching. It's your boy Francis. Let's go.